Cancer. Oh, hi, Cancers. Welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We're going to do your mid March check in, okay? Give a look at those lucky penny and lucky quarters. Awesome. Um, if you don't follow me on IG, feel free to. I do motivational Monday messages. I also do Sunday, Sunday read aheads. This uh, most recent one, I actually did general and love readings, okay? So go ahead and check that out. Also, if you don't follow me um, on my other channel, Star Fights for the Universe. Feel free to do so. I actually uh, feature the professional high priestess's spiritual warfare deck on that one. If you are interested. Can All right. Tell, no. Can you tell them about their, your third channel? No, I already did. Thank you. Okay. The meditating music channel. Go check out that one too. Yeah, and, and my son says to meditate. <laughs> you have wake up. It is your moment. Believe. Strange encounters. Mortality. And I want to be queen. Okay, so basically what I'm seeing here is that somebody does not believe that their reign is coming to an end. And the reason why is because actually you, Cancer, or the person that you are directly associated with, take it how it resonates, is actually coming into their power. Um, the mortality card is also my death card, so you could be dealing with the Scorpio, but... Um, yeah, somebody is actually stating their sovereignty and not just that, like they passed the test. Like this is the person who's meant to be in this position. Mm -hmm. All right, you have you're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness and face your true north transformation and then star brothers, Horus energy, protection, loyalty and safety. Okay, so you are actually very well protected while you're going through this transformation. Because remember, the death card is also your rebirth card, right? Death and transformation. So, like I said, once again, you could be dealing with a, a Scorpio here, Cancer. But basically, you are you got the love. Like, this codependency issue that you've been questioning, yeah, you need to unbound yourself from it. Because it's actually not yours. It's a projection, so someone directly around you is projecting their their codependency issues on you, Cancer. Either you or somebody else. You're like, the tower came out, the crumbling. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. But you, you've, um, you're you actually being triggered into hormone, uh, sorry, to hermit mode. Somebody is trying to trigger some kind of hormonal balance in you, Cancer. A hormonal balance. Hmm. You have the sun and the moon. You could be dealing with a counterpart here, but you're enlightened of all these secrets. Someone, okay, some of you, um, cancers, could be thinking about going through a sex change. Like, um, two spirited, right? That's what they call it. Um, um, it's actually gonna, um, you need to change your doctor. You need to change your doctor. If you want this surgery or this, this, um, this, um, this transformation to go successfully, you need to go, you can't do it with the doctor that you're proceeding with it. Okay. I know this is a very, very specific message. I'm sorry, but if you want this transformation to go successfully, you need to change your doctor. Yeah, because they don't have your best interests in mind. They're actually very judgmental of the situation. And that's why they're trying to cause a hormonal balance. When, like, it's like, um, Amethyst, um, she actually fuses with Steven to become Smoky Quartz, right? And the thing is, instead of trying to make you come out like this, they want you to come out looking like this, all deformed. And... And I'm telling you, yes, um, and I'm telling you right here, right now, the doctor and the nurses are judgmental of, of, of your transition. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Uh, I got um, emotional. But um, the Hierophant is on your side, you know, like I, 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 I'm, I actually I grew up in my um, in my block. I have this this girl named Zoe. Her name is Zoe now. I grew up when I grew up four, five, six is I'm about to tell you this story. Okay, 
as a child, it was Gonzalo. He was Gonzalo. And by the time he was in high school, he was already Zoe. Um, actually, I think that she um, she comes out in the new craft, as a matter of fact. I think she has some kind of part in there. But um, what I'm basically saying is I'm not judgmental to your situation, Cancer. And if you want to go through with this surgery, you can just and you're not like as far, you know, as far as the gods are, are, are concerned, they're OK with it. I know that I don't want to get backlash for this at all, but I have seen people do it, you know. And I've seen people do it successfully and I'm not, I'm neither here nor there about it. I, I grew up, when I was in high school, I was the president of the LGBT club in, in, um, my senior year. So I, and for you guys that don't, the, the G, the gay straight Alliance. Okay. GSA is what we called it. And, um, I want you to understand that. Bless you. God bless you. Not everybody knows. Nobody knows you like you, Cancer. And if you feel like you are going to be a beautiful woman or a beautiful man, you go ahead and do that. And you're, you're like, that's your energy right under the cherry. You're going to move on successfully from this. And you go ahead and you take your leap of faith, honey, boo-boo. You do it. If you if you don't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? That's right, boo-boo. Yes, you, you are the master magician. You do you. Whew, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so, um, I'm so emotional. <laughs> Get off, Alec. Stop, Alec. I don't appreciate that. Look, do you believe in magic? Do you believe and in magic? In a young girl's heart. Okay. Here, take it. You want to take one? Go ahead. Put it, put it up there. All right. Thank you for your help, Alec. My name is Alec. Um, and you see my face. Basically, what, what I'm seeing here is that your leap of faith is going to end the cycle. And they don't want you to be angry with the people that, that you were you were working with before, okay? They, um, they want you to know that everybody is going to have their opinion. And as long as your opinion is put first for how you love you first, you're going to be absolutely fine. Yeah, just make sure that you're be, you're driven by your own passion. And if you have to do it secretly in order for, for your growth to happen, then go ahead and do it. Because nobody knows what you did in a past life. Only you know what you did in a past life, Cancer. And if you want to be who you want to be this time, in this lifetime, because you know what? We had the technology to do it, then fucking do it. Do you, boo. Because Beloved is in the building, right under the deck. Do you. You're going to be beautiful no matter what you decide to be, who you decide to be. And you know what? Luckily, in, in America, you could actually do that. Yeah, go ahead and take your leap of faith. Take your leap of faith, Cancer. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sorry. I'm so ex I'm so happy for you guys. You know, con congratulations for you guys that, that decided to take your leap of faith and be the person that you want to be today. You know, um... Fully supported, just make sure that you have your team supporting you at your core, okay? And like I said, if you have to do it secretly in order for you to have this growth, then go ahead and do it, boo. But you do you to the fullest. All right, Cancer, that's what I have for you. And um, I'll see you guys for the next 72-hour